Welcome to the Infographics Africa channel. In today's video, we will discuss African cultures, specifically the Hausa culture. The Hausa people are an ethnic group found in many countries in West Africa. They are the largest ethnic group in the area, numbering around 80 million people, with significant populations in Nigeria, Niger, Benin, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, Chad, Ghana, Togo, Sudan, and Libya, making the Hausa language the most widely spoken language in West Africa. They are known for their craftsmanship, including leather tanning, weaving, carving, sculpting, pottery, and dyeing. In today's video, I want to present some interesting aspects of Hausa culture and history. My goal is to start a dialogue on the diverse cultures we have in Africa, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. I divided this video into four chapters, each covering a different aspect of Hausa culture. The video will cover the history, culture, religion, language, and daily life. The Hausa are the largest ethnic group in Nigeria, making up between 20 and 25% of the population. They primarily reside in the northern region of the country. The Hausa possess a rich and complex culture and history. Their origins can be traced back to the 7th century CE, when they are believed to have migrated from the Middle East and settled in what is now Niger and northern Nigeria. Over time, their language, culture, and religion have evolved and been influenced by various external forces. Initially, the Hausa were a loose confederation of city-states. By the late 15th century, they had come under the influence of the Songhe Empire in the west, the Sultanate of Ahir in the northwest, and the Borno Kingdom in the east. This increased Islamic influence led to the development of a distinct Hausa culture that was heavily influenced by Islam. In the 14th century, Hausa land established economic and cultural ties with Borno, which accentuated Borno's cultural influence on Hausa culture. Their history is one of immigration and conquest, and the Hausa nation has evolved from the incorporation of many different peoples who joined the original stock over hundreds of years. Before 1804, Abe kings ruled over Hausa land. Following 1804, the Fulani took over, and by mid-century, the Hausa were stratified into three tiers, the hereditary ruling Fulani, the appointed ruling class dominated by Fulani, and the Hebe commoners. The Hausa people generally recognize a common mythical ancestor named Bayajida, who migrated from Baghdad in the 9th or 10th century AD. His seven sons established the Seven Habi Kingdom. The exact origins of the Hausa cities are uncertain, with different theories proposed. The Sokoto Caliphate incorporated Hausa land in the 19th century, leading to the emergence of a Sarauta system of government and the gradual diffusion of Islam throughout Hausa land. Their beliefs and rituals are closely linked to the social organization of the village, and many involve spirits that have mutual obligations with the living. Unity between the Hausa and Fulani ethnic groups grew stronger during the British colonial era with northern Nigeria uniting under Islam and cultural ties. The two groups integrated well and are now often referred to as Hausa Fulani. The colonial era strengthened the unity between the Hausa and Fulani who are often counted as one ethnic group. The Fulani war made Islam the dominant religion in Hausa regions of Niger and Nigeria. Hausa migrants also established multiple settlements known as Abakwa in the Cameroon grass fields in the mid 19th century. The Hausa people are an African ethnic group residing primarily in the Sahel region of West Africa. They primarily speak the Hausa language and are predominantly Muslim. Since they interact with many countries, different economic and political pressures have caused them to adapt their lifestyles in various ways, resulting in a wide range of social and cultural features. The Hausa people from Benin may be different from those in Sudan, Due to their involvement in trade and Islam, the Hausa people have a diverse cultural background. They have cultural and historical ties with other groups such as the Fulani, Songhe, Mande, and Tuareg, as well as Afro-Asiatic and Nilo-Saharan groups further east in Chad and Sudan. Kano is the center of Hausa trade and culture. There is a social hierarchy based on lineage, wealth, and occupation. In pre-Islamic Hausa society, Children were traditionally given names that relate to events or the setting surrounding their birth, while after the introduction of Islam, Hausa children were given Africanized Arabic names or Islamic-inspired names. 
the Hausa society is politically organized on a feudal basis, with the ruler, also known as the emir, of one of the several Hausa states, surrounded by a number of titled office holders who hold villages as fiefs, from which their agents collect taxes. The Hausa economy has rested on the intensive cultivation of sorghum, maize, millet, and many other crops grown on rotation principles and utilizing the manure of Fulani cattle. Music accompanies most social events, storytelling, and religious ceremonies, and each ethnic group has a unique music and dance style. The Hausa culture is heavily influenced by its history and Islamic customs. Social interaction is hierarchical, and titles are used when addressing someone. Punctuality is not emphasized, and trivial matters should not be raised during meal conversations. Facial expressions are used to indicate interest or delight during a conversation. The Hausa culture is passed from one generation to another through religion, folklore, and lifestyle. The Hausa have a rich tradition of music, dance, and plays. The traditional Hausa attire is colorful and unique, with men wearing a flowing gown called a baban riga, which means father of the robe, and women wearing a wrapper called a hijab. Hausa writing emerged around the 14th or 15th century, with the language being written in the Arabic script until the British introduced the Latin script in 1903. Modern Hausa literature discusses social problems and women's issues, as well as exploring and questioning cultural norms. Many Hausa authors, such as Bilkisu Funtua and Balaraba Ramat Yakubu, are women, and their work has been well received by the public. The Hausa are predominantly Muslim and practice their faith by praying five times a day, reading the Quran, fasting during Ramadan, giving alms to the poor, and aspiring to make the pilgrimage to Mecca. The religion includes a variety of beliefs and rituals, with Muslims and non-Muslims alike believing in the same spirits. Although Muslims do not always carry out the same ritual obligations as their non-Muslim neighbors, the two groups share a similar worldview and celebrate the Eid al-Qatir festivals together. Many give alms to pilgrims and beggars as an offering of devotion to Allah. Some Hausa villagers say daily prayers with the aid of prayer beads, and some even keep the fast during Ramadan, as Islam is associated with modernity, cities, and sophistication. Islam arrived in the area in the 14th century, and by the 15th century, there were a number of independent Hausa city-states. In the 19th century, the region was unified by a jihad, the Hausa people are united by a common language and adherence to a common religion, Islam. The Hausa language is a Chadic language spoken by the Hausa people in the northern half of Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, Benin, and Togo, and the southern half of Niger, Chad, and Sudan. It belongs to the Afro-Asiatic language family and is the most widely spoken language within the Chadic branch of that family. According to Ethnologue, around 50 million people speak it as their first language and another 30 million as a second language, bringing the total number of Hausa speakers to 80 million. The Hausa language has a rich vocabulary of Kanuri loanwords, covering fields such as literacy, trade, urbanization, government, warfare, and specialized agriculture. It has also absorbed many Arabic roots, which were essentially Islamic in character. The language is used as a diplomatic and commercial tool for international relations. In addition to Islam, the Hausa language is one of the two distinguishing features of Hausa culture. Since the 17th century, the Hausa language has been written in a modified Arabic script known as a Jami. The language is evolving and adaptable and is popular among the young population. It is heavily influenced by Islamic customs and history. Hausa spiritual beliefs provide an explanation for unpredictable calamities and order to everyday life. The Fulani people consider herding cattle a cultural institution and a pillar of their society. The majority of the Hausa population lives in rural areas where agriculture is a key part of the economy. They engage in intensive cultivation of sorghum, maize, and other crops. The pastoral activity of the Fulani also plays a role in the economy. In Muslim households, men and women eat their meals separately. Music is an integral part of Hausa life, categorized in terms of function and audience, for royalty, dancing pleasure, and professional guilds. Hausa folk music contributed components like the goje, a one-stringed violin. Popular instruments include drums, flutes, tambourines, gongs, and xylophones. Music accompanies most social events, storytelling, and religious ceremonies. 
Hausa categorizes their dances as either social dances or ceremonial dances. The traditional occupation of most Hausa people is herding livestock, and they have a rite of passage for boys. Rural residents are more likely to work in the informal economy, on family farms, and in home-based businesses. Hausa people are known for their hard-working nature and engage in multiple economic activities to provide for their families. Respect for elders is encouraged and people are required to live happily and peacefully with each other. This concludes our video on the Hausa people. I hope you learned something new about this great culture that spans across many African countries. Did I miss anything important? Let me know, I created this channel to start a dialogue, so feel free to chat with me in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.